most BMW motorcycles, were always known for being different. But in the late 70s, BMW needed to create a new four-cylinder engine. And so the K-Series was born. It had a relatively common inline four-cylinder engine. The difference is, no other brand had the courage to install it lying flat in the bike's frame. But in the world of customization, the K-Series always comes with one thing, almost no one dares to change. I would say that 99% of all custom BMWs from the K-Series, have the same factory original fuel tank. This may be true, but not here, and not today. Welcome to Racer TV. As you have noticed, this machine is way far from most other K-Series based projects. The beautiful fuel tank is definitely the main part that makes this BMW look so special. Seeing a BMW K-Series with a custom fuel tank is already hard enough. But finding it with such a rounded shape is like finding the holy grail by accident, inside a McDonald's box. This beautiful machine, was built in France, by David de Macedo, and Laurent Vincent. Are they a professional team in customizing motorcycles? No. David is a partner and workshop chief on a Citroen garage. And Laurent, is a commercial seller for a chemical industry. It sounds strange, doesn't it? But I will explain everything in a minute. first time I saw this BMW, my first thought was. What a bold project. I don't remember seeing such an approach, on any other K-Series motorcycle. And it's easy to know why. Who would have thought, these rounded lines could fit so well, on a motorcycle known as, the Flying Brick. So, everything began two years ago, when David bought this old BMW K1100 LT. Although his wife didn't like the idea very much, David knew exactly what he was going to do with it. One of the things he absolutely wanted to change, was the fuel tank. After a lot of research on the internet, he finally found the perfect one. A Triumph Thruxton fuel tank. I would say, it is really an excellent choice, but far from being perfect. And why? The technical skills required to fit it on this frame structure, are something only an excellent professional could do. Like I said earlier, David is not a professional builder. But fortunately, he has a really great friend, 
who offered his help to solve this problem. And this is when Loran, comes in on the construction of this project. Because he knew how to transform the fuel tank, due to his background as an automotive sheet metal worker. I would say Loran did a magnificent job. Increasing the width of the tank 6 centimeters. It is not easy to do this on rounded surfaces. But everything became impeccably smoothed. Using melted in. And when I say impeccably smoothed. I really mean it. Now the thrust and fuel tank became much more proportional. Having approximately the same width of the radiator. And the engine. Before I talk about the rear seat. I have to say some of these photographs, don't do justice to the real proportions. As you see, the camera lens creates some distortion, increasing the size of the rear cowl. On this photograph, you can check the real size of the rear, and confirm the proportions are perfectly fine. The frame structure, was also one of the challenges of this project. To place the tail in this higher position, a substantial part of the frame, had to be built from scratch. According to David, it took 7 hours of work, just to get away to fit this LED light inside this tube. It is interesting to know, how sometimes the most simple things, turn out to be the most demanding. The front section came from a BMW R9T and the rear wheel, from a R1150 GS. Speaking about it, I think David made another excellent choice on these wheels. They bring a certain classic and modern twist, which fits extremely well on this project. There are many other details, I will not have enough time to describe in this video. But there is one thing, that will surprise you. You are probably aware of the Moto Gadget keyless system, even because I already showed it on several other projects. Basically, this system only requires bringing this digital key close to the sensor, which will activate the motorcycle's ignition. But David took things, to a higher level. Try to find out, how he activates the ignition system. I am sure you are wondering if the ignition's sensor is under the fuel tank. And you are right. But the strange thing. He don't have the digital key on his hand. And it is precisely in this detail, that David was very insightful. Instead of using the regular digital key, he chose to use the chip on this tiny glass tube, which is hidden inside his glove. Honestly, I think this solution couldn't be more practical. I have to say, I was very glad when David sent me a message about this amazing project. Not only because I loved the originality of his BMW, but also because I found out later, that David is a Portuguese descendant. Without any doubt, this is an impressive build, which becomes even more impressive, when we know that David and Loran put all their heart on this project, working only after labor hours and on weekends. And for Loran, I can only say that you are on the top, of the true friends category. Because David made sure to tell me, he feels deeply grateful for all your dedication, and precious help. And thanks to both of you, we can now enjoy this amazing project which has one of the most beautiful fuel tanks I ever saw, on a BMW K-Series. 
Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video.